Hey guys, welcome to D-Pad. Finally back on Offshoot Comics. I'm your host, Kirby Kidd. And Slade and Faust. And today we're going to talk about some stuff. Stuff number one? Yeah, stuff number one. Uh, Pokemon Go seems to be in a little bit of uh, trouble with Again. the government. <laughs> Again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, so what? So basically there's issues with like privacy and it being dangerous. The FTC is, is potentially... Long, um, might launch an investigation against uh, Niantic and Pokemon Go. For being terrible? Uh, for being terrible. Something like <laughs> for, that. For, for trading not being in the game right now? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Well, no, what's what's going on is that uh, we've all seen and read on the news, and trust me, everything that's on Reddit about Pokemon Go and all the issues that have been going on, such as people getting mugged. Um, yeah, that one guy saw a murder it, it, while streaming. I was like... <laughs> I'd never play again. He was back playing the next day. <laughs> yeah. And, and, you know, it's it's come down to the point where I think it's the adult generation. It's not the kids, obviously. Um, the adult generation is getting a little concerned with uh, the safety of Pokemon Go and, right. and it's it's privacy. How um, Pokestops, you know, they're not just regular places. Some of these are buildings. Some of these have been hospitals. Right. You know, um, and they're now, like, Stop bugging us. Nobody asks us if you could come here, and you're having droves of people show up at these places, right. and it's causing issues. Yeah. And, and I think uh, Niantic should have uh, thought that through before. Right? Didn't one well, one woman got locked in a graveyard go, looking for a uh, Pokemon, and and some of the stuff is a little little offensive. Like I saw uh, the um, the giant Brazil stat, uh, Jesus statue in Brazil. It's 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 on there as. A uh, big cross guy, like that's the description, and I'm like, mm, that's and super. That's... <laughs> and, and PC wise, yes, that would offend people. Um, but right now, what the main the main concern is, um, for example, uh, the FTC regulates a lot of the stuff that we do here in the United States um, yeah, when it comes to uh, products that we use right. and, and things that we uh, we consume as consumers. Um, so. What they're looking at right now is Pokemon Go is one of those things where it's kind of like texting, mm. you know, that they, they may come up with a regulation so that, you know, like texting, we cannot uh, text, we cannot play Pokemon Go and drive. No matter how many people are not going right. to, are going to be watching this, they're going to all say the same thing. Well, of course you're not going to, and they're probably the same people that are going to be texting and driving. And, and playing Pokemon Go. And playing Pokemon So basically, you, you can't Pokemon and go now. Just Pokemon and stay. Exactly, <laughs> and, and and the thing is, there's ways around that, right. you know, and, and, and that's one. Like of the I thought problems. it was dumb when they they put the um, the oh are you driving thing, and then you could just click no on the passenger. I'm like, I can just lie to you, and I mean I haven't. I know people who have though. I've heard it. Nope. it everybody's guilty of it at one point or another. Like I said, it's like yeah, texting and driving. Flag. Calls, red, so red cell phone calls and whatnot. Anything cell phone based is basically a uh, danger right. and can be abused. You know? Now, I thought that they had taken Pokemon off the road. Like, they, they, they stopped them from appearing on, on roads. That's what, that's what I had heard. That they were... They, you know what? Trying to do at least. They're trying, but that's not... They still probably were down Yeah, there. that's still going to happen because of the same thing. Um, you know, uh, it's hard to regulate a road to a freeway. You know, I can be next to it. Uh, you know, people are going to be like, I'm going to get as close to the shoulder as I can, I can just to, you know, get to that street adjacent to the freeway that I'm on right now. And it's just going to cause issues. So do you think they're going to actually have to change the game? Um, maybe, gonna... maybe not. I mean, it's not, it's not only here. You know, in Japan, mm -hmm. there have been incidents as, as well. So when you start looking at the bigger picture uh, they may tend to change a little things here and there but first they gotta fix the game i mean we all yes. know <laughs> we all know trading this. battles make the game look better i mean like i hate just seeing like a plain green area with some lines going through it and like here's the world really i, I would like i was thinking more on the lines of you know stability look we can get that later i i need the pokemans <laughs> and i need the ability to battle i need to look pretty so, but, all right, well, Pokemon's going to court. Yeah, well, they're not going to go to court, but they, they are in line to a potential investigation. Um, so do they lead them testifying about Pokemon? I want to watch that. I want to watch them at an actual, like, super serious court thingy, and they're like, hey, we're here to talk about uh, Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. 
it's actually a lot simpler than that. They just have several, like, they have a meeting with people and they discuss the, the regulations and what they can and cannot do. And it's never something where it's, like, going to be I huge. want them on Capitol Hill. No, but nobody goes to Supreme Court or something <laughs> like that. It's just, just ridiculous. One day. <laughs> so, something else happened this week that I actually hadn't, I didn't know about. Ubisoft almost got taken over? Well, they survived being taken over. Um, Vivendi, we all know them as the big bad guys in the video game industry. Um, they uh, they had their corporate meeting, and it ended up it ended pretty well. But Vivendi is still kind of showing the, the the fact that we own twenty three percent of your stocks. Therefore, we can make decisions. Yeah, shot now. And and that, what Ubisoft is trying to avoid, because remember, Ubisoft is privately owned. It's, it's family. Mm. So what it is, is um, when you enter a free market economy, um, the more shareholders, the person who holds the most shares is basically the owner of the company. But Vendi has been trying slowly but surely. They're creeping their way toward that position where they can actually take over the company. And that's what Ubisoft wants to avoid. Right. It is strictly See, family. This is why you don't go public with your company. I, I would never like that's that's I hate I hate that idea of starting something and then someone just saying, "This is mine now." So. Well, <laughs> well, the problem with not going public and being such a large publisher is the fact that. You, where's your backing coming from? You know. Yes. Mm. You know. This is just be honest. Assassin's Creed. We were talking about it last week, mm. uh, a couple weeks ago, actually. Right. Where we're just coming up with an Assassin's Creed game every year, every year, every year. Up to the last two to three Assassin's Creed games, they sucked. They had yeah, stability issues. All of these glitches, all these all these issues that were going on with them, they didn't sell. They were not hot. And they're not a hot commodity now. Anybody who li- listens to uh, anything in on the internet, you already say, Assassin's Creed. Glitches. Ugh. You're like, it's, and it's horrible. I think I don't the want movie it. is coming out three years too late. Yeah, I, I, but you know, it's still relevant. And it should have been Desmond. That, <laughs> who the hell cares about this other guy? You could, you could have cast the same actor, and just call him Desmond. It didn't make me happy. It's about me. It, it's about you. David once. <laughs> well, but in, in in the long term, right now, uh, Ubisoft is still not out of the clearing. Um, there is still a chance that they will, uh, then they will buy enough shares to a point where they may take over i mean it, mm. they're not hiding it right. it's become a thing where you know they are the big bad guy like i said do, do we know how much the family owns um i i didn't actually get into the full research on that one um because it better be 50 plus one i was i was just trying to i was trying to more to get the gist of it because uh. of of the after mm-hmm. comments where they were saying you know um but then he is respond they wanted to this is the funny thing. Speaking of stability and, and glitches in games mm-hmm. and trying to come up with better games, um, Ubisoft wanted to vote you. on paying their talent more to okay. produce better product. That's a good idea. Great idea, right? Yeah. But Vendi did not vote, therefore the resolution did not go through. Ooh, that means they don't have enough power to... Exactly. Oh, that's not a good sign. That's not you a good sign. <laughs> you can't get that through. So then it, all these people just got stiffed on getting a pay raise. And, and, and Vivendi knows it. And basically the reason they did it was so that way Ubisoft knows. We're not too far from this. Right. We are a legitimate shareholder. We can stop stuff. That can stop stuff. So now it's, it's going to be a... a they're going to want to put people on the board. They're going to want to make little decisions there. And that's going to throw Ubisoft into some sort of spiral. That they better start they buying their stock back. Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's, that's actually the only legal solution. Yeah, because you, otherwise you can't stop it. Exactly. So, speaking of things that, that can't be stopped, Xbox Project Scorpio. It's not going to be stopped, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> but is it going to be what we want? Is it going to cost $599 US dollars? Potentially, yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, the Phil, big Phil Spencer has uh, interviewed him uh, recently, and he actually mentioned that the price for the Xbox, uh, I guess Xbox Scorpio or whatever the because people don't realize that this is not next gen consoles. Right. These these years are not going to be next gen consoles. The the consoles that we have now aren't even four or five years old. Well, well first. Scorpio. For people out there who have just heard of it, 
what exactly is it? Is it just a super advanced Xbox? Is it like a thing you can customize? Well, well Phil Spencer said that um, they want it to be the most powerful console out there, period. And it may potentially be the last console that they make. I doubt it. Right. For one, one huge reason is that um, there's money in it. Maybe not not the way Microsoft has been doing things. I mean, they're really optimistic. When Xbox, uh, the, the Xbox One came out, mm. they were like, we want to reach, we want to project that 200 million. <laughs> 200 million copies. The only game system that has even come close to selling 200 million copies oh, is yeah. the PlayStation. It's the PlayStation 2. Right. And that one sold an estimated 155. Oh, 151. Oh, wow. I thought it was 131. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's actually outsold the PS3 and the PS4. Right. So, when you're looking at it right now, PS4 is next in line because their sales projections as well as their estimated sales Per year mm-hmm. have been exceeding what the PS2 sold every so year. It's be, it's on track yeah. to be. So it's on track to actually beating the right. PS2. But the thing with Microsoft is it's 200 million is a little ambitious. And they want it to be the last console ever. But they want That's it to be the, the best though. And and right. the problem is when you want the best, you gotta pay for it. It's gonna be expensive. But don't they, like I, I guess I guess they're probably they're doing the same approach with Windows 10. Like Windows 10 will be the last OS and they're just gonna update it. Consoles don't work that way. Gamers like knowing, okay, this is the blah 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 five. When's the six coming? Out? <laughs> in, in, in all honesty, all technology doesn't work that way. From the iPhones to the uh, you know Samsung Galaxies. To I, I think the Samsung uh, Seven is probably the last one. I don't know. It's blowing up and murdering people. No, but it's not <laughs> going to be the last one, though. You have to come up with an eight or something that's going to blow up bigger and murder <laughs> more people. No, <laughs> no. That's, that's the opposite of what I'm going to do. <laughs> but, but the thing is, with consoles, that's the thing. You know, you say console war is over. Console war is never going to be over. You have Nintendo with the NX. You have. <laughs> Yeah, and, 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 and do they count still? They, they do. They do. Because you know what? They want to go in a different direction. Okay? Uh, I remember uh, Remember, I texted you and I, 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 I advised you that the the way they want to go to is they want to do console as well as handheld in one. Uh, that's a different direction and potentially something that could help them. I mean, it is what it is. But now back to Xbox, um, to, to Microsoft, they want to, one get 2 million consoles mm-hmm. out there, units sold. That's just not gonna happen. Right. Okay, um, the only thing that has ever broken 2 million, and this is over a span of 12 years, for multiple iterations of said console was the DS for Nintendo. Right. Okay, they sold about uh, 210, 216 million handheld devices. A lot of Pokemon. That, that is. But remember, it's it's over twelve years of different iterations of DS, three D S. You know, you're looking and you're pushing that's the, the DS oh. has been out for twelve years. Yeah. Don't you oh feel Oh my old? god. I <laughs> my first Game Boy was just Game Boy. Like the first oh God. Thank you. Thank you for that Ivan. Yeah. Thank you for that. How do you think I feel? Oh that's right. I feel better. Oh, you feel better now. Okay. <laughs> that's, always, that's always great. So, yeah, Spencer is, 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 is claiming that this is what they were projecting, but mm-hmm. so far, Xbox One sales have not been what they no. really wanted. They, I mean. they really, I mean, like, that, this shows you the power of E3. That one bad E3 took who, what, like, the console that was supposed to be the leader. I mean, Xbox 360 was dominant last cycle. Uh, Xbox 360. You, I still right the good old days. The good old days. You went I from still being have five nothing. of them. I I can't talk. I have three. So I mean yeah. Like I have the regular one. Red and I, have the, I have I have, oh, I have I have my Red Wing one that it's it survived. It got repaired. Then I got it, bought another one that I can expand storage. And then I have the Gears of War one. And you know. But when you go, <laughs> but you're right. When you go in there and you step with the wrong you step with the wrong foot. Right. Yes. That E3 destroyed ketchup. them. They're not. I know people who were hardcore Xbox. After that, they said I would never go back because they might they might change now to get me to come back. So what's to stop them from once I go back to Xbox from doing all the things they said they were going to do? Yeah. So I think they're kind of overextending themselves yeah. and their their ambition on, on what they want to sell. Um, 
So yeah, um, let's, let's let's end this with something really really fun. Uh, Mafia Three uh, coming up pretty soon announced that you can shoot up a KKK rally. Um, and, as a, and like the character's a black man, and I I am very black. I cannot wait to wait, play. Wait, you're black. I look. I <laughs> I didn't want it to come out like this, <laughs> but I'm black. I'm sorry. I've been black my whole life. Or at least the last five years. <laughs> but no, so you get to shoot up a KKK rally, and I'm wondering, like, did y'all just add that in just because of what's going on in America uh, right now? I, I, here's, here's my thoughts on that. Um, Mafia, just like any other game based off of the same genre, mm -hmm. Grand Theft Auto. It's, all, it's just Grand Theft Auto. Exactly. The, the, it's just Grand Theft Auto. But it's not like this is the first time something like that has appeared, mm. you know? Grand Theft Auto is a good example right. where, you know, violence has always come, like, police violence, and we don't want to get political here, but right. know, police violence to the civilian populace has been around forever. Right. Know, it's something that happens. But with Grand Theft Auto coming out, it was a big controversy. We're like, oh my god, you get to be a criminal. You shoot cops. You shoot right. this. You do that. Well, this is just another another layer on the cake. They're, right. Now they just went a little step further and they're like, now we're being very specific. You're going to be able to do this. Right. The fun part is that there's a lot of people out there that would buy the game just to be able to do I that. I wasn't going to buy until that. And marketing wise, <laughs> it's genius. I was like, I, what? Yes, it's amazing. And when we do get the game, I yeah. mean, we're, we're going to have a special guest yeah. playing with you. So that <laughs> that will be a great that's thing. That's going to be fun. And that, that comes out on the 7th, so look out for it around around that time. I, I'm looking forward to that game. Plus, the story looks like it's not, not, not too bad. I mean, it's, you know, family revenge story. Which, those are always fun to be mad at. You know? Which is every Mafia movie. Every, every, every But yeah. you get to play as well, right. so that's what, that's what makes it better. Yeah. So, guys, let us know. What do you want us to, to play that um, that is also rigs? Because that's what I'm going to be playing. Once again, enough with the rigs. <laughs> no, never. <laughs> never. If you haven't heard of rigs, it's coming from PS4 VR. It's like the closest I can get to Gundams and Team Combat. It's going to be awesome. I'm sure there's other games coming out for PS4 VR, right? There's like at least one other game, right? Probably. The problem with you is that you've been so focused on rigs that that is all you. What? I, I, I. <laughs> it's like that's outside of rigs. Four game. Wait, wait. Outside of rigs, I also want to play. Um. When you gotta answer me with um, there's a problem. <laughs> it's rigs. Okay, look. <laughs> Point is, guys, let's know what you want us uh, to play. We're gonna be playing Mafia next week. Rigs the week after that's happening. And with Call of Duty and Battlefield One coming out as well, you will oh be catching God, gameplay on that be, as well. This month is crazy. So get oh, your credit oh, cards oh. ready because <laughs> you know that we are going to be spending money on mm -hmm. a lot of games and product. And I will hopefully, hopefully get my reserved VR. Nah, man, you went to Best Buy. I already reserved it, and you never know. They, so far, they, they haven't failed me. Man, they probably, they're probably just going to give you a copy away. They're like, you know what? He doesn't really want this. They're just going to give me that IOU voucher. Yeah. <laughs> Reminds me of the time I, I, got, I pre-ordered MVC3 from Best Buy, and I went to the store opening day, and they had one copy for the whole store, and there's a line. We're like, that, what? <laughs> and they're like, yeah, we have one copy. So, I mean, I got that copy. I, mean, I got it done, but, you know. I don't feel special. So yeah, let us know in the comments <laughs> what you would like to see us be playing. Uh, any of the recent games coming out or any games that are already out. We're more than happy to play anything that comes to mind. Even weird, weird dance games. Yeah. You would like to see David dance. I, mm. Also, check out our Patreon. Link is down below. Uh, look, look out for our new Star Wars film that's coming out called The Disturbance. Uh, link is in the description. Please check the description. It's important. We put it there for a reason. He gets so angry. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, guys, until next time, we've been your host, Kirby Kid. And Slade and Faust. See you later, guys. Laters.